Hi guys, it's Nirmal from Nandanam Exotics and today I am coming back to you with another head planter series. Uh, these two are today's subject for the video. Hope you guys like the video. Uh, it's not anything particular or even a DIY project I can show about. It's just bought store bought potters. But I just want to share the dramatic feeling these kind of planters give to your garden. That's the entire uh, purpose of this video. So hope you guys like the video. I did a video about head planter which I DIY'd previously. Uh, you can check my previous videos, you can see how I did it. But uh, this time it's just a store bought pot that resembles the head of a human. I am so in awe with the dramatic feeling that such head planters can give to your garden. So hope you guys like this video. I'll be sharing some tips on how to hang such potters on the wall. and. Be sure to check, uh, watch the entire video. Thanks for watching again. So guys, uh, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And also click the bell icon so that you will be notified of my new videos. There is a general concept that gardening just include uh, taking care of plants and potting them up in normal pots. But that is really an old school concept. Nowadays a garden should be a place where you should entertain any sort of people who visit that space. A uh, best way to do this is by adding a lot of uh, inanimate elements like uh, beautiful potters, uh, fountains, um, sculptures etc. So. One such example that you can employ making your space much more appealing is a head planter. Nothing speaks or nothing brings more drama than a head planter in a garden because the way they animate the plant into feeling like it's the hair of a sculpture or a head makes it so magical and special. So these are terracotta planters I have used. Um, the female uh, looking pot, I have arranged plants that are more tropical and water loving. So I water them almost every other day. I try to keep it moist always. Um, the purpose of this video is not just to show you how to water the pot, but it's really fun to watch the water trickle down very slowly in slow motion. So I just added this clip. So both of the pot uh, came as a set, a male female set and did not have any drainage hole. I had to manually uh, drill holes to the back of the pot that faces the wall. Uh, there again comes a problem where the water always um, wets or damages the wall. So what I did is to cover the drainage portion of the pot with plastic so that uh, the plastic layer stays between the uh, drainage hole and the wall and thus preventing the wall from getting wet. The female planter is uh, arranged with tropical water loving plants. I have used two plants only, not too many. It's just uh, earth star or cryptanthus and the other one is uh, calicia ripens. The earth star is in bloom right now. It's really as if the entire plant mimics a flower that the lady is wearing in her hair. In the future, I hope that the Calicia ripens will bush up and literally form a real big cluster around it. And the Cryptanthus will stand out as a flower for the planter. Hope it works out. So both the planters are placed in a pl location where they receive morning sun and the rest of the day it is just bright. So only morning sun is direct and everything else is like a very bright spot. So the plants that I have chose are chosen are also pretty much low light loving plants and things are going for good till now. I might update you guys in the future how things turn out. 
the male planter has been uh, arranged or set in such a way that uh, succulents can be grown in it uh, the media i have used is also very well draining with the gravel uh, a small amount of cocoa peat and perlite i also added a sufficient amount of compost into the mix so that the plants will have nut nutrients to use up for the growth uh, i only water this plant every sunday or in other sense just once a week since they are of terracotta and once you fill the pot with media and plants they do weight a lot so they make sure to have a very sturdy fixture to the wall that holds the pot up otherwise there is a good chance they might fall down so i think that's all i have to say about this planters so guys next time when you're trying to design a garden always think of such elements that you can bring some drama or interest into the space so guys i hope you guys found this video entertaining and be sure to subscribe to the channel as i always say thanks for watching